Welcome back, guys. Now, I was recently contacted by a, a very large uh, tool company um, to see if I would be interested in helping them out to produce a one-off item that they can auction off to raise some funds. Now, the funds themselves, uh, the money that they can raise by auctioning this is going to go to the family of a, a guy that's recently passed away in August, actually. His name was Richie Maxwell. On Instagram, he was called The Blonde Bricky. He had quite a large following. Um, so, what they want me to do is to make a new handle for this particular trowel. So, the original handles are, are these um, normal, generic type things. I think they're all the same, aren't they? Just different colours. Um, and they pop on there and, and so on. So, what they want to do is they want to want me to turn something really special. Now, uh, Richie Maxwell, I think he was... Um, his favourite football team were the Glasgow Rangers. So, what these guys, the Rollins Tools, did... They, um, they got in touch with GPS agencies to see what kind of colours that they can get that will match the Glasgow Rangers uh, football team. So what they've done, they've come up with this. So GPS have sent this over. I'm going to cut this down and turn it um, and make the handle. I'm just going to literally copy the shape and everything of this. Uh, and pop it on. I think it's going to look pretty cool. Also, what they'd like to do is they'd like me to etch some uh, some lettering on there as well, which we'll do over on the uh, the laser CNC. But uh, it's such a great cause. I mean, uh, this guy he wasn't that whole old. He had a young family. I think he had a wife and two children that he's, he's left behind. So um, hopefully they can get loads of money through auctioning this off um, and they can give it to, to the family to help them in any way it can. So, let's crack on. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna, uh, obviously we, we've gotta laminate this together so you're gonna see a weird pattern. You're not gonna see this pattern but you're gonna see the colors and I think that's what's more important, the colors, the white and the blue. So we're gonna cut, um, let's see. Probably six strips out of this and we're going to laminate them all together and make a blank a little bit bigger than this and then we're going to turn it down and see what happens. So there we are, we're, uh, we're all cut. So it's, it's kind of, it's about the right size. If you can see that on camera. I think you're gonna kind of see this kind of pattern. It's gonna be very, uh, <laughs> I don't know how to say, it's gonna be all busy. You'll see a little strip of this probably, just a little bit, I don't know, we'll see. But anyway. There we go. So the next step is to scuff these off and then we'll be uh, laminating them all together. Right, so we've sanded them off. Uh, we've cleaned them with some cellulose thinners to get any dust or any, any bits on there because we're gonna be laminating these so we don't want any cracks at all. <coughs> now, the only glue that I use is 03 adhesives. So have a look down in the description. You'll find a little discount code for, for this stuff. Trust me, it's really good stuff. Um, this is all I use. Right, so what we're going to do, we're going to just pop, oh, let's get on camera. Just going to pop a bit on. Just move it out. We've got to do this pretty quickly because we don't want them to be misaligned. Okay. 
but that's all it takes, guys. And it, it's instant, literally. Look at that. We're going to do three like this, and then we're going to sand again, sand the tops again, and then we'll laminate them together. Right, so there's our blank already. I've, uh, I've glued some sacrificial blocks of resin to the sides. Um, yeah, it's gonna, gonna be just right that size, is all right. So, next step for me is to take these corners off um, and then chuck it in the lathe. And then we'll get to turning it.
so I wasn't happy with that first one at all it um, no I didn't like it it didn't stand out enough you could just about see it when you um, turned turned it in you know to get the reflection so I put it back on the uh, the laser and uh, filled it in I don't know if you can see that you see the font it's filled in now um, so anyway What do you think of that then? <laughs> so I think, I think it's turned out really nice. I love the way this has turned out. This is the original handle that you, you get with these trowels. It's just a generic plastic handle. I suppose it's hard wearing, but it's just plastic. This one is a little bit different, a little bit more special. So I'm not sure what the um, what the name of this acrylic is from GPS Ages is, but I'll leave a link down below anyway. Um, but all I did, as you can see on the video, is I cut it, laminated it with the 03 thick, which is the, I think it's the yellow 03. Um, I find the thick, using thick for this, it kind of creates a vacuum, so you've got no air bubbles in there and it seals really well. You've got to do it really quick. You don't actually need activator when you're laminating. Um, so yeah, did that, put it on the lathe, spun it to match this. I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty accurate. If To be honest, there isn't much in it. This bit might be a little bit thinner, but not a lot. Um, and then obviously went through the, the process of sanding it and blah, 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 all that. You've seen that before. Um, so the actual um, laser etching, what I do is I paint it with um, Tipex or spray it with paint. And then I'll cut the letters out with the laser. And then when that's done, it leaves bare metal ready for the ferric chloride to sit on there uh, this is like 20 minutes so that's sat in there i did this three times the first time i wasn't happy because it was just the outline of the letters and you could only see it if you looked at it really closely in a certain light i wasn't happy with that so i did it again <laughs> and that time the lettering was off it was leaning you'll probably see it on the video when i when I take off that um, spray paint, you'll see, and any any keen-eyed people, viewers, you'll see that it was really on the on the slant. So I sanded that back down, polished it, um, redone it again. I didn't record any of that because you've already seen it once, um, and then buff it up again, and then. Just to protect that nice shine, I didn't want to go in dull over time because I'd imagine this is going to be hanging on someone's wall or I don't know, but it's going to be hanging there. So I covered it in some clear lacquer. Now, I'm really hoping that this makes some some uh, some money for Richie's uh, some wife and kids. I really do. So there'll be a link down down here somewhere where you can um you can participate in getting this 
I'm not sure how it's going to work yet. I don't know if it's going to be a ticket or a raffle. I'm not sure, but there'll be a link down there that will take you to wherever it is. Anyway, I really enjoyed this. And I always say that. I always say really enjoy it, but um, I did enjoy this one. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget, click that link down there so you can bid or whatever for this. It is pretty special. There is another one like it. And um, I'll see you next time.